let us see another fraction example in this case we have three fractions as 2 upon 5 2 upon 7 and 1 upon 3 we need to arrange these fractions in increasing order that means the fraction with least value will come at the front and the fraction with the highest value will come in the end in order to find out highest and least value of the fraction let us find out their least common multiple first lcm of their denominators to find out lcm let us write all the prime factors of 5 7 and 3 prime factor of 5 is 5 prime factor of 7 is 7 and prime factor of 3 is only 3 let us write all these prime factors in a table which has three rows and three columns two and three this is row number one row number two and row number three vertically this is column number one column number two and column number three in first row let us write all the prime factors of five that is five in second row write all the prime factors of seven and in the third row write all the prime factor of uh, prime factors of three that is only three LCM of 5, 7 and 3 will be a multiplication of their prime factors that is 5 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 3 which is 105. Now we need to convert or make denominators of all these fractions to 105. So we need to multiply denominator of all three fractions with such a number that makes its denominator 105. Let us write these numbers again 5 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 3 in 2 upon 5 we already have 5 in the denominator let us see here we already have 5 so what is left here 7 multiplied by 3 that is 21 so 21 is the number we need to multiply with numerator and denominator 21 multiplied by 2 is 42 and 21 multiplied by 5 is 105 let us see 2 upon 7. In this case also we need to make the denominator 105. Let us see what we have here. We have 7 already. So what is left? 5 multiplied by 3 that is 15. So 15 we need to multiply with numerator and denominator both. 15 multiplied by 2 is 30 and at the denominator we already have 105. For 1 upon 3 make the denominator 105 we see here we have 3 already at the denominator place so 5 multiplied by 7 35 35 is the number we need to multiply with numerator and denominator both so 35 multiplied by 1 is 35 so the result is 35 upon 105 now let us write new value of these fractions first we have 42 upon 105 Second fraction is 2 upon 7, which is nothing but 30 upon 105. And the third fraction is 1 upon 3, which is 35 upon 105. Now, we have same denominator in all three fractions. So, in order to find out which fraction has the highest value, we look at only numerator. So in this case 42 has the highest numerator value that means 42 upon 105 has the highest fraction value and 30 upon 105 has least fraction value. So we need to arrange these fractions in increasing order that means the fraction with least value will come first that is 30 upon 105 this will come first it has least value after that 35 upon 105 and at last we have 42 upon 105 which has the highest fraction value 42 upon 105 let us see which fraction 30 upon 105 is 30 upon 105 is 2 upon 7 so fraction 2 upon 7 has the least value then 35 upon 105 which is 1 upon 3 and at last we have 42 upon 105 which is 2 upon 5 2 upon 5. So this is how we arrange fractions in increasing order of their value.